All right, we're serving up some mm. flaky, sweet, and savory goodness in this edition of Ooh. Breakfast with Crepe House. Do you smell it? Listen, do I ever. Do you smell even what even the rock is cooking? <laughs> or is Julia cooking it? <laughs> now, if you're in my shop, you know, you're going to look a drool come down mm. my mouth. No, 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 the salvation well, is real. Listen. We're going to learn about the art of crepe making, the mm -hmm. cultural influences associated with crepes, and explore the unique and diverse range of crepes offered. Joining us this morning is Uliana Afanasenko, the owner of Crepe House. Welcome to Sunrise. Welcome. Thank you. Uliana, Thank you. how are you? Oh, fine, a little nervous. Good. No, no, no need fine. to be. <laughs> it's what you do best. It's serve fantastic crepes, so no need to be nervous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your location. Tell us about Crep House. Um, so I have a small location in Devon House, mm -hmm. shop number 23. It's um, right as you enter the property. And we have been there a little bit under, a little bit over two years now, mm -hmm. and it's going well. Mm -hmm. So people are welcome to come and try um, Russian crepes. For those who don't know, oh. what is a crepe? Um, crepe is something similar to maybe um, something in between pancake and a roti mm -hmm. and it can be sweet or savory so for sweet options you can have it with like salted caramel bisco cookies um, strawberry marshmallows mm -hmm. mm. chocolate caramelized plantain and mm. for savory option you can have it with like smoked marlin cream cheese yeah. That's tuna, right turkey, <laughs> turkey ham, chicken, yeah. aki we have really big variety of mm. Things. Well, I, a lot of people naturally associate crepes with France, but you mentioned Russian crepes. Tell us what what's the angle? Are crepes uh, are in Russia uh, actually crepes are at the super popular fast food, and we have crepes from pre-Christian times mm. that were associated with the sun because of the round shape. Mm. And um, although, like in Russia, Christianity. Tradition is for a thousand of years, mm -hmm. right? So um, we still we still do the crepes. Like um, we have a religious holidays even associated with crepes in the spring. Oh wow! Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Russia we have a huge tradition of making crepes. Interesting. Well, like, I guess I it makes know. sense right yeah. now to be doing crepes in springtime. It's yeah. a perfect time <laughs> yes, to be here yes, on the yes, show yes. culturally. <laughs> um, what are you going to make for us this morning? Um, for the savory options, I have. Um, Smoked marlin and cream cheese. That's what Dennis wants. Yeah, I right. don't even have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, should I prefer? Should Normally, I, prefer? I would use the hairnet and the gloves. And mm -hmm. But, oh, but here is only TV, for so demonstration. <laughs> yeah, that's like so yeah, you please fun. forgive me. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to take some marlin. Uh -huh. While you prepare Dennis's crepe, you also have your own line of product. I know you have, is it called kefir? Yes. Tell us about kefir. Oh, natural kefir, it's a prop, it's a most powerful, one of the most powerful probiotic drinks in the world. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not something that I invented. Kefir has kefir been around for a thousand of years. Mm -hmm. And Russian scientists got a Nobel Prize of health benefits of kefir in 1904. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, do you know that Nobel Prize have been around for... 122 years yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, it is not something that I invented, but mm -hmm. I make it the most natural way, mm -hmm. just like people have been doing it for thousands of years. Okay. Kefir made with uh, using pasteurized milk and kefir grains. Mm -hmm. The grains is actually a living organism. Oh wow! It's a combination of lactic healthy bacteria, mm -hmm. and by placing it in the milk, right? What happened is the, after the fermentation time, mm -hmm. bacteria and kefir spreads and it take out the lactose because bacteria fed on lactose mm -hmm. and produces carbon dioxide and minerals and magnesium and mm -hmm. so on. So kefir would be suitable for people with lactose intolerance. Yeah. Mm. Like it milk. Like? It tastes like a sourish yogurt. Like yogurt. Yes, mm. but what it does to you, it boosts the immune system, is yeah. it, it can... Um, Restore your gut microbiome, mm -hmm. please, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, what a lot of people don't realize is that gut health really helps overall health. It's yeah, yeah it a healthy is. gut. It tastes like yogurt. Does. Yeah, like Greek yogurt, yes, plain it yogurt. Tastes like plain yogurt. Mm -hmm. And it's fully natural, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, nothing. Mm -hmm. Shelf life is a little bit over three weeks. Okay. So, but I 
my aim is to keep it natural because there's so many unhealthy foods mm -hmm. on the market that something should fight it. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yes. that's you're so right. Yeah. Yes. What's what's the the reaction like um, generally speaking um, in Jamaica? Like, I mean, do you have people coming in and wanting more sweet or more savory, or is it a balance? Um, for the crepes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I would say it's a balance, you know, just what you feel like. Crepes is more like a comfort food. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put a little bit of the... Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not very spicy, mm -hmm. but for the morning time, you know, spicy is not so good for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, but I, I like pepper jelly, so I mm -hmm. think this will, will, will work quite yeah. well. It actually is very nice. I've, I've tasted that one. I, very, I very nice. I don't know this one. It's spicy. a sweet, spicy ginger. Mm. 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 <laughs> All, right. All right. So we're going to wrap her up. Oh, okay. I'm having a little struggle in here. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh. There, there we, we go. go. Nice. Ooh. All Dennis right, awesome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like watching. If any, <laughs> if any fall is because of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have this during the, uh, the break, but thank you very much <laughs> to our guest, Yuliana Afanasenko, the owner of the Crave House. The, um, das for Link Up is on the other side of the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Mm. Mm.